understand it here. Uh, you see the artist's conception of how that one uh, skull mask may have been used. It may not have been used like that at all. And uh, down here, we have the fire pit, cremation pit. Just kind of showing, giving you an overview of artist's conception. gives an overview, that's the side of the river there, an overview of some of the uh, complex earthworks here. The first one was the high bank, now this is the site, that's the great site down there. That's the whole world site. Mount City itself next to the side of the river. And there's the Hopeton Earthworks, which are right across from Mount City. I'll just show you a couple of the pipes here that we've been using some of these as part of these elaborate ceremonies next to the cremation pits. objects uh, here were found next to the bones. Some of the, uh, these cremation pits. Here we have an elliptical mound uh, right here, as you can see, and uh, it's really an unusual one here in Mound City. Four burials found here, 700 broken flint spearheads of unusual form. Three intensively used crematory basins on the mound floor. Most of the spearheads were ceremonial broken, and they found an obsidian spearhead recovered here from Yellowstone country, which is in you know the Wyoming area. And it shows a pot, and here you have the um, side view of it. Now here's the top view and you can see the crematory basins and here were some other crematory basins here once again these were uh, used for um, ceremonial earth renewal now this is the where the uh, skull the skull man was found there the, uh, the skull mask but, but they're not really sure how that was used 
uh, that was in the earlier part of the video. Mount 7 here. Shows how, you know, see the uh, ceremonial house with them down in there, and they burn that down, and there's, the, there's your pits there, then the clay, sand, you know, gravel, then earth covered. Now some of these they don't even believe may have been covered with earth. Some of them may, may have just been um, uh, covered with uh, just clay or whatever, but this is where the skull mound was found, or the skull ceremonial. Now this uh, here, kind of like the, a little bit like the famous uh, Tremper pipes, although there were far, the Tremper mound is one of the far more cache of pipes was found in there than, than, than this, than in here, but, which makes the Tremper mound a very profound mound. You see these animals here, the respect that the, uh, these people had for these animals that they lived and inhabited with and saw themselves as kin with. Now this mound here is called the Mica Splendor Mound. And you can see these sheets of mica I showed one in an earlier video. Uh, the, you know, the discs, mica discs. And it shows how they were crafted here. Once again, there were 20 burials, cremations in this one. Major fire pits, some were even on uh, raised platforms with an array of unusual objects. Now they find out in a lot of these, uh, the DNA in, in these, uh, uh, the, the sacrifice uh, or the, the cremations and the burials are, from, are different, so they're not the, the theory about them, these being family plots or whatever has been discredited pretty much. Well, built many of their most spectacular here, the skull mask here. Artist's conception of how the, the one on Mount 7 there. And uh, here's a cremation pit here. These articles, artifacts found on the floor of the pits. ceremonial lounges as part of the earth rule Again, an overview of a ceremonial inside of a ceremonial lodge and artist conception. back there how they may have won in the ceremony. So 
of some of the elaborate uh, artifacts used in the ceremonies like this. More artifacts. Try to pan here to give you a good idea of what they found on the floors in a lot of these ceremonial lodges. And this will conclude.